this would be a fantastic product if you were getting ready to sell a house and you had a crappy old deck and you didn't want to replace it i'm telling you instead of someone going out on your old deck saying oh man this deck really needs a lot of work they'd walk out there and they go oh this is a nice space deck is a little old but but i'm telling you that's the best hundred bucks you can spend right there so uh today's video i am going to be using a product that i get at lowe's hell i forget the name of it but basically if you've got an old deck or old wood stuff that's starting to splinter this is not like a normal stain this actually puts a thick coating on top of that and fills in gaps supposedly i wasn't going to shoot this video but um i just finished loading all the crap in the utv there's the old dock so at some point we might replace this but i got too much going on so if i can extend this out another year or two i'll be real happy but I don't know how old this is. Now they originally had painted this. We came out and we actually pressure washed this and stained this with regular stain, but you can see it still looks like crap. So I've got a lot of areas that have got rotten wood, um, a lot of areas, you know, a lot of areas that you're gonna see like this with splits and turnips and splinters. A lot of this old cracked wood here. So, like I said, if I can get another year or two out of this and just use this product, it'll work. Now, my problem is, is you're supposed to put this on with a roller. Well, I really can't put it on with a roller because if I put it on with a roller, it's going to drip through the cracks. So I'm going to try and do it with a thick brush. Now, I'm not going to shoot a whole lot of video today because I need to get this done while we have some nice sunny dry weather. So step number one is if you haven't pressure washed your wood, you want to pressure wash and get all the mold, all the algae, get it off a couple days before and let it really dry out. Then come back. And just blow and get any of this dead wood and debris out. And then I'm gonna take the stain and a large brush. Let me show you real quick. Right there, deck correct. If I can find a link to it on Amazon, I will. I think I got this at Lowe's. And then you, it's a tintable base. So I tinted this and I tinted it dark brown. So I've got two gallons of it. I hope that's enough to at least put a good coat on this. I went ahead and bought, <coughs> um, I love these big thick Cabot brushes. They're not cheap. They're like 16 bucks a brush, but man, they're so good when you're put doing this stuff. And it's about the perfect width of these boards. So we'll see how it works you can out. see that this product is really thick. Got it? It's like a paste. And what you want to do is you want to apply it on pretty thick. You want a nice thick coat. And what it will do is it'll actually fill those cracks. So I'm putting it on thick and you don't want to wipe it too much. The nice thing is, is this isn't going to drip through to the, to the fish too much. One thing I will tell you I'm learning is this stuff is really thick. And what the best way I have found to apply it with a brush is just take a small area, do normal strokes back and forth, get a coating, and then immediately come back and go on a cross pattern, almost like a grout. And that'll fill in all of these holes in the wood. And let me tell you what, you can fill just about as deep as you want to go. But that over there is already dry. <laughs> so you, uh, you're not gonna be taking any breaks and sitting down during this process, I'll tell you that. So on the sides, I really don't care about that much. I'm just giving a light coat on the sides here. But when it comes to the top, again, I am just giving a top coat on a small area, then going back on a diagonal and filling it in. Now, this is not a fast process, obviously. Since I can't really stop and talk to you, so far, I'm really pleased. But I gotta tell you, this is gonna take a long time. <clears throat> 
I may do some of this. I may go through one gallon and then have Ryan come out and uh, work on the other half because this is going to take a while. This is going to be a, a two-day project wow. for sure. <laughs> Labor intensive. All right, so I did an outside perimeter and I just realized that I think I have a roller. I don't know if it's the right nap. That's my only concern. So I may go get a roller and a pan and come out here and just see how this does because let me tell you what, my hand is sore. This stuff is thick. Um, it's hard to put on. It looks fantastic, but I mean, you can see the difference. What an amazing difference. There aren't a lot of products that do what they say they're going to do. This stuff does. Okay, so I went inside. I had an extra roller and I had a 3 8 inch nap. It's a lot faster with a roller. <laughs> the only drawback is, is I'm not where a lot of these cracks are being filled with a roller. I mean, I just can't put it on heavy enough for it to fill those cracks. But I got to tell you for the trade-off in time, I mean, I would do two of those boards and it would take me five to 10 minutes just to do that. I'm doing two boards in 60 seconds. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll it. It may not come out as good and it may not feel as much, but dude, what an ass whipping with a brush. Roller is definitely the way. So let me see if I can do this one handed real quick. Now this stuff dries really quick, by the way. I mean, as heavy as I can put it on, on a roller, I'm coming by. And I know, what about a bigger nap, Doc? What if you used a bigger nap roller? I'm telling you, I don't really think it would matter because it's, it's that action, that cross grain action that I'm missing with a brush. So I can't really get a cross grain with the roller unless I do something like this. And even that's not doing it, but I'll tell you what, for the difference in time, I think I'm gonna roll it. So here's what I've got done with one can. Started off painting and then switched over to roller and had to stop right about here. So what's that? Probably 12, 12 by 10 plus all the detail work around there. Uh, roller does a is much faster, but you don't get as much into the cracks if you have a really crappy torn up thing. So I don't know. I think I'm just going to do this and be happy with it and just have a nice looking deck that's sort of resurfaced. I think I've come to the conclusion it's not worth <laughs> it's not worth the hours and hours and my breaking back to go through here. Now I will tell you, don't leave a roller sitting around. I got to run because I got to get the other gallon. I don't think. I don't think two gallons is going to finish all this, I'm pretty sure. So, looks like I'm headed back to Lowe's tomorrow morning. Oh. My back is killing me. <laughs> Even though I'm using that long handled roller. Dude, I just made it. <laughs> I have about a half an inch in each can left. Man, that looks so much better. And it really isn't so much the look as it is the feel of it. It has this gritty kind of plastic sort of feel, acrylic feel to it. Wow. So, I don't really want to walk on it, but let me zoom in. So what I found out, now obviously, that board needs to be replaced. <laughs> but when you have a big crack, big crevice like this, if you take that brush, load up that brush and just blop it and blop it in, it actually fills it up pretty well. The other thing I will say is uh, uh, the, the value of this uh, on a pond or a, any kind of dock, no drips, zero drips. This stuff really doesn't drip, not like a regular stain. I'm really happy with that. Fast drying, I mean almost too fast, it dries like it's walkable like within an hour and it's if it's dry to the touch on the surface within like a few minutes this would be a fantastic product if you were getting ready to sell a house and you had a crappy old deck and you didn't want to replace it i'm telling you instead of someone going out on your old deck saying oh man this deck really needs a lot of work they'd walk out there and they go oh this is a nice space deck is a little old but but i'm telling you 
that's the best hundred bucks you can spend right there two gallons of that for your deck and uh, plus your roller and brush and man I I'm I'm thrilled I really am happy okay so I finished a couple hours ago it's about 5.30 or so. It's been out there for about two or three hours. Let's go check on it. I will tell you that um, it really is, it's walkable within 30 minutes to an hour, I would say. Uh, if you stand still on it, you still get a little, you still get a little tack to it. But um, let's go down and Let's everything see. This is what I'm talking about right here. It uh, feels like a solid surface. It's all sealed up and it has, it's rough. So it's a non-skid. Again, I guess it's that polymer beads that they have in it. That looks really good. Uh, color is brown. You can pick any color you want. I'm probably gonna get one more gallon and another brush and I'll have Ryan come out and do the stuff that I missed, these edges. So like I've got the edges here and the edges around the dock. But if you come up to where, if you come up to where I was applying it, see where I was applying it with a brush and see how these cracks are all filled? That's what I'm talking about. So a brush, you can actually, just like a grout, you can actually go cross grain and fill those cracks up right there. When I switched over to the roller, you can see I don't really have as much inside the cracks. But man, I mean, there's, you can run your hand, it, it prevents splinters. If we come out and do a little bit of touch up here on the dock, um, I mean, we'll get another probably, oh, year or two out of this dock at least. Because it's pretty solid. And in fact, I talked to one of the builders out here and he said just, build on top of it you don't have to take it down just build right on top of it he said the structure is fine i just did a video on clearing up your pond water if you do have a pond and i'm so happy with this every night i come out here and now that the fish can see my lure it's every cast i'm catching these monster blue kills that are like a pound a piece bass everything's just coming alive i'm just real happy with it anyways i've got a pressure washer video coming out Within two days, we're gonna go over to the other house. We're gonna pressure wash everything. Pool deck, driveway, sidewalks, everything. I'm gonna bust a couple myths about that, about pressure washing. We'll show you some quick tips. So uh, hit that subscribe button, and then we'll go over and cut some more grass. Doc.